One, two, three. Oh, 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 there's, there's nothing there but a bit of blue tag. Well, we're gonna need a four. Fellas, it has finally arrived. Fresh from 1999, a package that I didn't even think was still existing. But it says right here, fragile, do not break, do not mess with the glass. This thing cannot be broken or replaced ever. So guys, I know it's Monday. I know everyone was looking forward to the Transformers massive giveaway on hashtag Triple M Mailman Monday. But guys, I actually have some pretty good news. For everyone that didn't know about the giveaway, it's like, what? There was a massive Transformer giveaway? Dude, I'm giving away 10 Transformers TCG booster boxes in uh, Mailman Monday, I think like two weeks ago. I'll link it in the description below, but I'm extending the giveaway by four days. So, I'll be doing something pretty crazy. I'll be uploading a Mailman Monday this Friday on, what is it, November 2nd. I'm gonna upload the episode on November 2nd. So, you have extra time to enter the giveaway it's gonna be absolutely insane. I suggest you do. I'll leave a uh, link in the description below to the original Mail Monday with all the rules and such. Mailman Monday is coming out on November 2nd, aka a Friday. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna extend the giveaway to give you guys even more chance to win those booster boxes. So make sure you go check it out. But guys, I know it's Monday. I know it's technically Mail Monday, and you guys are always craving a package opening on the Monday. I have something so insane that I cannot believe that I secured it. Ever since we reacted to uh, Pokemon cards being banned in America in 1999, we were having a look at the 23 karat gold Burger King promo cards they released. Now, I'm gonna, we're gonna watch a commercial, gives heaps of context. This is the commercial they ran for like two weeks, then these items completely sold out. Like they sold them for two dollars each back then. They sold out in two weeks and never stopped again. All right, earbuds are in. Everyone strap yourself in because oh, 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 we're going back in time, fellas. Three, two, one, let's go. Parents love the fact that the Burger King Big Kids Meal has more of a great tasting food their kids love. Oh, the there it is, in the, the Big Kids Meal. Limited edition gold plated Pokemon trading card to trade with their friends. Hey, thank you so much. Oh, dude, that's, that's a little tight. Well, Isn't it? Most parents. Now when you buy a tasty value meal, you can get a 23 karat gold plated Pokemon trading card from Pokemon oh! first movie for just a Look at them all! Pokemon and Burger King, come and catch them all. Holy smokes, did you just... Okay, I don't even know where to, where to start with that. Number one, was that little Tay? I swear that's the same kid, I don't know about you guys. But then we go further up and oh my... Oh boys! There's legitimately like six of them and they're $2 each. I, do, I don't think they even realize how sick these are. Could you imagine if they did this nowadays? It would sell out in literally like two hours. So yeah, that's pretty much the, uh, the the preface of what this is. If you still need more context, this is from 1999. Burger King ran a promo with their big kids meal and you could get this. That's pretty much all you need. If you need anything else, just Google it. But I'm gonna get this open because I asked around nearly everyone I knew, all my Pokemon contacts, my old school vintage resellers. No one had this in stock. And then I found someone in Australia that was selling theirs. And dude, I could not believe my luck because these things are so hard to come by, let alone sealed in the box, never touched. Usually everyone's open. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Look at this, look at this. Get the bubble wrap off. Holy smokes. We have, don't focus on my face, focus on this. A Pikachu gold, 23 karat gold Pokemon card. Pokeball right here. Then on the back we've got all six of them. Yo, let's go to the unboxing table and unbox this bad boy. I cannot believe it. I can't believe we're even just holding this right now. This is insane. So, fellas, this is it right here. This is the limited edition 23 gold-plated trading card that they released with the Big Kids Mill. I can't get over that. There was actually a Big Kids Mill. But I thought if we're going to get one, it either has to be the Charizard, which is that one right there, or the Pikachu. They're the two rarest ones. I've already got the Mewtwo back there, and believe it or not, Mewtwo's actually one of the more common ones. Like, he doesn't sell for as much on eBay. Pikachu, and uh, I think Pikachu is impossible to find. So uh, I was like, if I can get that, I really want that. Um, Charizard you can find, but he goes for like 150 bucks. So, I can't believe I got this either. I can't believe I even found it in the box, the original box. I don't know why, but when I first unboxed this on the channel, I threw away everything else. Like, I unboxed one back, I don't know, maybe four, four and a half years ago. But I threw all the packaging and stuff out. This one right here is still sealed with everything, and I'm gonna keep it with everything, but put the Pokeball on display. So let's get, holy, I cannot believe this right now. 
So that's the- Oh, you get a well. Look at this. You get like cardboard inside so it doesn't like, uh, I don't know, what is it, crumple up in the post? I love that this was only two dollars. That makes no sense to me. The food itself nowadays would be more than two dollars. Let alone getting this. So guys, in 2018, we are about to open up a 1999 23-karat gold-plated Burger King Pro- Oh, I don't think we even need scissors. Do we just like- We just rip it out like that? Oh, okay. Get around it. You imagining doing this in like an original Burger King joint? There, fun fact, where I live in Adelaide, Australia, Burger King doesn't even exist. Burger King doesn't even exist in Australia, period. It's called Hungry Jack's here. Alright, get this out. Put this packaging to the side. And look at the shine. That is never, ever, ever been touched by anyone but the factory before. Like that fingerprint? That fingerprint is legitimately from 1999. Oh, it smells like 1999 air, and now it's got my uh, lips all over. <laughs> I'm insane, I know, I'm sorry. I really freak out over vintage stuff. Do you guys too? Look at this. I love that it stands up by itself too. Alright, alright, so there it is. The mirror ball. You can see my reflection. Hey, gone. Um. This looks crazy. I think we're just gonna do it though. I think I'm just gonna pop it open and reveal the golden Pokemon card. You ready? Here we go. Three, two. Oh, boys! It's better in person. Look at this. I can't even capture this. Oh, dude. Let me get this. Oh my gosh. It's got everything. Let me put, put, oh God, don't die, don't die. Let me put this to the side. That is the 23 karat gold. I'm gonna get that out of its uh, packaging in just a second, because that pops open. But we also get, let me get this up close. The Certificate of Authenticity P uh, Pokemon Special Edition, 23 karat gold plated trading card, number 25 Pikachu, officially licensed by Nintendo. And then it's got the Chairman's signature. Keep this, but this is what makes it so expensive on the resale. Swing it around. This Pokemon Special Edition 23 karat gold trading card has been produced to the highest standards of Nintendo America. Fingerprints and exposure to weather will cause this superb finish to tarnish. Bum bum bum! 1999 America. I love that all this is like shiny gold as well. Yo, ah, oh, we've do we've done it, boys. This could be the best unboxing I've done in recent history. I, s I swear, this is insane. So this is the 23 karat gold um, Pikachu card. You guys can see uh, the full art sort of texture right there, the logo. Swing around. Mouse Pokemon. When several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity could build and cause lightning storms. Evolution, it's got Pikachu to write you. Uh, Pikachu didn't even exist back then. Let's get this out. Oh gosh, it's probably not smart, but whatever. I don't care. There's already a bit of like a weird uh, sticky tape mark there. Yo! Holy mother duck, it looks even better. The shine is unreal. This is 23 karat gold I'm touching right now. This is this is like one of the only full golden Pokemon cards. Holy, I feel like we should get the other ones and compare. I want to get the Mewtwo, Mewtwo's out. Let me do that. I'm going to get the other three off the shelf. This is insane. I can't believe this. You literally just witnessed an unboxing of that. I can't believe I just did that either. It's actually pretty sad because these are pretty dusty, I gotta say, but at least the Pokemon Gold Card inside isn't dusty. I mean, I actually haven't opened these in a while, so maybe someone robbed me and taken all the Gold Cards. We'll find out right now. So, this is the first one I grabbed. Let's focus this one up. I wonder what's inside of these. I know one of them's Mewtwo, and that's about it. Oh, it's Jigglypuff, and he's broken! Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, these things pop out, actually. So, the props that they stand in, they can sort of pop out, and uh, I don't know why. Maybe you just want to stare at it without the props. But this one right here. And also, the top of that Pokeball is heavier than when it stands, so when- So like, when you have the Pokeball standing up like this, it sort of- it can fall over quite easily, because for some reason, it's a lot heavier up here than down there. It's pretty weird, but we'll close that one, so it doesn't fall over. But here we got the Certificate of Authenticity, it's the Jigglypuff. Look at that, number 39. And then right here, the bad boy himself. A lot of these have been sent to me in a Mailman Monday, but here we go. That's the Jigglypuff one. Look at that. That is some serious gold, isn't it? Like, just protruding out of the card. Insane. Alright, what's this one say? Balloon Pokemon. When its huge eyes light up, it sings mysteriously soothing melody that lulls the enemies to sleep. You gotta remember, this is a Burger King, like, throw-in. 
It's one of those, like, what is nowadays a cheap plastic toy. This is what that was. All right, put Jigglypuff to the side. What's the next one? Let's open this bad boy. Oh, this one's, like, a bit busted. It's to the side. Oh, it's Mewtwo. Fantastic. This one, yeah, all of the uh, props have been fallen over. We got the certificate, so we got the Mewtwo, number 150. This is the last Pokemon in that dex. Or 151 if you're including Mew. Look at this. This is the one I think a lot of people want to look at. Oh my, I have such a cool collection. I want to get them all now. I, le I legit want to collect them all. I wonder what's left after this. We'll have a look at the final one though. Yo, the back looks even better, doesn't it? Put that one back in its uh, protective casing right there. Put that one to the side. And then, the final one. What do you reckon it's gonna be? Let's bust her open. It is none other- I think this is the original one I originally opened when I did my first unboxing on the channel. No wonder it's in mint condition, so, um... Didn't have to go through any postage. This has just been sitting in my bedroom for like, four and a half years. Poliwell. So we got the official licensing and everything. Poliwell number 61. Yo, they all look so good. Then the Poliwell himself. I've kept such good condition of this. Oh, look at this. It's even still tightly, like, sealed up. Oh, I love the artwork on the back. So you can see the splash mark all around him. Pokemon logo. Turn it around. The splash. Oh, I love this so much. The Tadpole Pokemon. So, like, in an ideal world, I guess, I think they want you to trade. So it'd end up something like... I can't even believe people, people just touch these. I guess kids did back in the day. So, like, you'd be at the playground. Hey, do you want my... Oh, this is so cool! Do you want Poliwell? Yeah, sure, trade it for a Jigglypuff. Alright. And then you trade. Oh my, look at this. I kind of want to get them all out, don't you? But yeah, fellas, dude, that epic, like, this scene right here is how I'm going to end the video. With four 23 karat gold Pokemon cards. Leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. What do you think of this video? Are you freaking out as much as me inside? Oh my gosh. I cannot honestly believe it. I thought this is the best thing in the whole entire world. So yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. What do you think? But most of all, have an absolutely fantastic day. Smash the thumbs up button because this video is so sick. And uh, stay tuned to Melman Monday on Friday where I announce all the Transformers winners as well. Make sure you enter that competition. But uh, yeah, most of all, have a fantastic day and keep on gaming. I'll see you then, guys. I'd, I'd cover the camera up with a whoosh, but I'm holding too much valuable stuff, so... Cha-ching!